the opposition is going to say anything. Uh, who signed the document? Uh, if you're going to be a country that respects the rule of law and respects agreement, then um, the blame has to be put on the UDP and our own Contreras. So I, I really don't understand the mindset of the leader of the opposition. He speaks because he has a hole in his face. In terms of his point that that um, it is the current prime minister who is pushing the document now, after having um, admitted that the, the document is, is invalid, um, what's your take on that? Uh, listen to me. The, everything uh, regarding Cruz is going to end up in the court. And so we, we have to be very careful. Would we want this to be another BTL? whereby we didn't abide by certain agreements, we went through the court system and ended up paying $550 million when we damn well know that that um, institution was not worth that at the time. So there are, are a lot of issues at play here. We have to be extremely careful. It's, uh, we're getting legal advice about the definitive agreement. And I've said this in cabinet that um, I believe that the principles behind the development um, will be, would be interested in renegotiating the definitive agreement. Uh, and for, from my perspective, and I can say this on behalf of the Prime Minister, we put that definitive agreement on hold, we put the legislation on hold, but everything in this business is a timing issue when you're dealing with international corporations.